New tonight, Carmel's proposed budget for 2025 is now headed to the mayor's desk. City councilors pushed it through its final step at tonight's meeting. Fox 59's Michael Van Skoik was there and he breaks down the multi-million dollar budget's focus on public safety and infrastructure. Carmel's 2025 budget is around $233 million. City councilors unanimously approved an amended version of that spending plan in a 9-0 vote Monday night. With a major focus on public safety, Carmel Fire will get nearly $47 million, while Carmel PD will receive around $37 million. Hiring for police and fire is really competitive right now, so we want to make sure that we have well-paid officers to make sure we can hire and retain the best of the best. Mayor Sue Finkham says police and fire funding will go towards hiring more officers and firefighters, new police cars, overtime costs, restructuring pay, and increasing pension. The council also approved a $25 surtax on passenger vehicles and a $40 wheel tax for heavier trucks and semis, which would be collected each year by the BMV and distributed by the state back to the city. The taxes are estimated to generate nearly $3.6 million for road improvements. That is basically to fund a long-term plan for road maintenance. We haven't had one in place, but we continue to add lane miles and miles of paths. So this is to make sure we have a long-term view on how to take care of these assets. The city took a new approach to forming next year's budget. In previous years, each department's funding was based off the year prior. This year, Finkham says every department started from scratch so the city could assess where the real needs were. She and council members say this helps avoid overspending. This year we broke it down into programs to really make sure that we are funding only what we really wanted to achieve. Finkham says the 2025 spending plan helps establish a baseline for improvements over the next four years. In Carmel, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News.